What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a kind of simple video. Uh, I've been seeing people having problems with this lately. Um, it can be pretty aggravating sometimes. I'm talking about a tank being stuck on a pump. Uh, I've seen guys jam screwdrivers in there, kind of pry them loose. Yes, that does work, uh, but you run a risk of bending up the uh, lip around your tank. Won't normally cause a sealing issue. Um, one is just going to look kind of ugly. Um, there is a chance. You know, you could cause a sealing issue. You could kink that metal just a little bit where it doesn't line up with that O-ring. Um, I usually try and steer clear of that. That would definitely be like a last resort um, thing to do, in my opinion. But I got a pump here uh, down the floor. I'll bring you guys in. Let's check it out. I've had it for, I'd probably say 15 years now. Um, I got it from a buddy of mine that passed away a long time ago. And I got, it's actually a four pump setup. Um, got another one over there on the shelf that I'm looking at now. I think one's in my Ozonmobile. There's a third one that's rolling around somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Uh, but I'm going to take them apart, clean them up, and uh, get them ready for another build I got coming up. So I'm kind of utilizing stuff that I have laying around. You know, kind of build just a cheap budget uh, car for my wife. So I'm going to bring that pump up here. I'll let you check it out. It looks pretty rough. Um, I, I always tell everybody it's my display pump. It's my bougie pump. You know, if I want to sell something fancy. But uh, let me get it set up here. I'm going to drain the oil out of it, and I'll let you guys check it out. She is a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, I wasn't kidding about saying it was rough. Um, this has been sitting on my shelf, then kicked around, been under my table for a while, so I just got some grinding dust on it. Pretty empty the fluid out. Uh, usually, I always say start there, because a lot of times I see people pulling tanks off, which gives them a lot of trouble. They'll have the uh, tank plug in there. That actually creates a vacuum, and you're kind of fighting yourself at that point. So I definitely want to take that off. If possible, drain it. Um, the way I do this, you know, definitely drain it because you're going to make a mess. Um, I have put them vertically before and pulled the tanks off. Um, with that on there, it is possible. Just a real pain in the butt. I was going to empty this pump off screen, but kind of figured we'll bring you guys along. God only knows how bad this oil is going to look. Eh, not bad at all, really. I would do want to say that uh, I don't remember what I used this on last. I think it was in my ozone mill. Uh, just when I was moving it around uh, a few years ago, and I probably put fresh oil in it um, when I was messing with it. So to speed up this process, what I'm going to do, try and crack this loose. Yeah, not going to happen. All right, I'm back. I took that off to let that breathe. That oil looks really good, actually. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I think... Um, maybe it was just back in the day to get my ozone mill just to lift up and be able to move the car around. I probably had it in there, judging by the T. Um, but I didn't explain it already. I took that off. Yeah, I explained that. So we'll let that drain out, and then uh, we'll pull our tank rods, bolt this up in the vise, and then pull that tank off. All right, we got all the tank rods loose. I'm actually move this over the vise just a little bit. I should have done that beforehand. We got the side track. I was talking with Billy and Max. Yeah. All right. We got our tank rods all loose. Pull these all out. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I guess, uh, if it's just a regular pump, not a piston pump, you really don't have to tighten these down too tight. Uh, you just really want them snug. Uh, they don't seal by any kind of force or pressure. Um, I see a lot of guys tighten down so bad it'll bow the tanks up, bend the backing plates. So yeah, not really something you gotta do. Um, got me a rag here because this thing is a mess. Throw it on here. I got it good and stable. Now that right there is a terrible example. Kind of pump it. Ooh, got a Marzacci in there. Heck yeah, that's cool. Well, that was a terrible example. Uh, that actually went really surprisingly good. So sorry guys. I guess I'll dig through my other stuff and see if I can find a worse example. Hmm. It's crazy. All right, well, we tried. But anyways, um, let me see if I got a worse example. Uh, but usually what I do, I just get my, uh, that shoved back on. Usually, uh, in a worst case scenario, what I do, I'll just grab it and I'll hang on. I'll literally just grab it, put all my weight on it. And uh, it'll seem like you're not making any progress at all, but the longer you hang, you'll start feeling it just go just a little bit, just a little bit, and then it'll pop right off. Um, I 
I said, I've seen people stick screwdrivers in there. Don't recommend doing that. Uh, seeing people tap them with a rubber mallet, myself included. Uh, don't recommend that. It dents up your tank usually. Um, I can't believe how easily that came off. Um, yeah, give me a few minutes. Let me look around and see if I can find a harder subject. Take all my pumps apart today, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let me see what else I can find for you. All right, this one probably is going to be a bad example, too. This was the uh, tank I had for my oil burning heater or oil burning stove heater, whatever, same thing. It'll probably come off all right. But hopefully, it won't. I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Plan on making a quick, simple video, and apparently, I'm going to tear apart every pump I have <laughs> in my shop. And then just make my shop even more a mess. Because I thought about making a small video and then cleaning up my shop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to come off pretty easily. Damn it. That just ain't working out for me. Well, on to the next one. Alright, so we're on to contestant number three. Now, this is actual. This is actually the other pump that goes with that. So, kind of feeling it's going to come apart pretty easy too. Like I said, that one there really surprised me. But that is what it's looking like. Uh, just kind of let you guys see that I didn't really take the thing apart to try and make it look like it's coming apart easy. You know, why would I do that when I'm trying to make a video about how hard a tank is to come off? Probably should drain the oil out. That'd be a good idea. I'm going to do that first. All right, we got our oil all emptied out of there. Let's try this again. If you're wondering why I'm using a drill instead of an impact, because my impact's up at the house, and I don't feel like going up there and getting it. Let's see if we can have any better luck with this one. Maybe I should take all the bolts off. All the way. Hmm, that's a different tank. I would be uh, pleasantly surprised if there's another lots of pump head in here. That would kind of make my day, actually. Let's see. Ah, that comes off easy, too. Dang it. I'm just batting a thousand here. That is a china pump head. That sucks. All right, so here is our next contestant. Uh, this was supposed to be a double pump for my Oldsmobile. The other pump is in my Cadillac right now. Obviously, this one's been sitting a little while. Uh, I know this has a number 11 pump head in it, so that's one reason I kind of need to take it apart. And the reason being for needing to take it apart is yet another side project. Uh, this one's actually going to be used for what it was originally intended for. Uh, I'm going to be building two front pumps for my Oldsmobile. So hopefully one day I will actually make it a hopper. Uh, that is already loose. That's not good. It just isn't looking good at all. I don't think I've ever been in this pump head or this uh, pump. The reason I know it has an 11, like I said, I have two of them. The other one I took apart has an 11 in it. Is there oil in here? I highly doubt it seems that's a No, no oil. Maybe it'll make it be stuck on there. Who knows? That was a little bit better. Number 11, I don't know why I act surprised. But, uh, yeah. That was a little bit more stubborn. I mean, that's about it, guys, really. Just, like I said, bow up on it, hang up, hang off of it, you know? I've got a 2x2x316 uh, two two piece of angle drill for uh, a pump, bolted to it, got a good strong vise. You know, put your weight into it. Uh, if you don't have enough weight, get a buddy, you know? Both of you guys bow up on it. That's usually how I pull them off. I said, I don't recommend the screwdriver. Yes, it will work, but this has never failed me. So now that I'm out of pumps that are in easily accessible reach, um, I think I got one or two more laying around somewhere. Again, like I said, I don't really know where they're at. Uh, I do know there's one of those one wheel. It is the match to those. I mean, those come apart so well. I don't see it being a struggle. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, wasn't quite the video I was hoping to achieve when I started this, but I guess if I can take anything for a win, I've made a big mess in my shop. So I'm going to start cleaning that up. Just going to start breaking some of this stuff down. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. 
I don't know if you learned anything or not on this one. Maybe it was a little bit of entertainment. Who knows? Uh, but as I said, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Remember, you won't know what you can do until you try. Sometimes you can take a tank off. Sometimes you can't.